My name is Paul Cornish. I'm a pianist out here in Los Angeles, and I'm originally from Houston, Texas. I moved here eight years ago to uh, attend the University of Southern California. Uh, yeah, been out here ever since. Ideally, if it's, you know, if I get my way, I'll get up and go to the gym. I feel like that always like prepares me for whatever might come during the day. And then I'll come back, make some breakfast, and then start dealing with the instrument. And uh, if I have a gig that night, I'll work on some music. And then, uh, yeah, kind of kind of get ready to uh, head to the gig and do that and come back and do it all over again the next day. Sam first. It's a new club. It actually opened probably within the last four years, I want to say. Before Sam first emerged, the main club here was Blue Well. And um, they shut down during the pandemic. And Sam first has kind of picked up the mantle of being like kind of the only like dedicated jazz club where it's only that, you know, every night. I've been playing there since they, they opened up. And fortunately, they've allowed me to uh, bring groups there and they haven't gotten sick of me and stuff. It's cool. Hello, and welcome to the 2023 American Pianist Awards. I'm Ann Merkel, Senior Vice President and Chief Market Development Officer at the National Bank of Indianapolis. As our city's largest locally owned national bank, we believe in supporting the organizations that improve the quality of life for all who call Central Indiana home. So our longtime partnership with the American Pianists Awards is a natural one. In fact, it's been our pleasure to support the American Pianist Association and its mission for over 20 years now. This year, the National Bank of Indianapolis is very pleased to return as the presenting sponsor of the Premier Series. The Premier Series encompasses the first live adjudicated performances of the five finalists 
in the jazz competition. In April, Indianapolis will again welcome all of the finalists for Discovery Week, when the awards will be announced along with the Cole Porter Fellowship in Jazz. Tonight, you'll experience one of the five brilliant finalists performing both solo and trio pieces. On behalf of my colleagues at the National Bank of Indianapolis, thank you for viewing tonight's live stream. We hope you enjoy the performance. See, the wind blew everybody in here this evening. Uh, I see a lot of power lines and uh, traffic signals out. Everybody got here safe. Uh, here we are in the month of November. We got some great things in store for you uh, uh, in November. Matter of fact, coming up tomorrow night, she is one of the judges for the uh, competition this evening. She'll be performing here tomorrow night. Uh, none other than Lynn Ariel. Lynn, why don't you take a bow if she's back there somewhere? She'll be performing tomorrow night. Phenomenal pianist. Also uh, coming up uh, November the 20th uh, from uh, Lincoln Center Band, great trumpeter, Ms. Terrell Stafford in, in, in conjunction with the Indianapolis Jazz Collective, he'll be appearing here. So be sure to mark these events on your calendar. Also always, uh, let's watch out for the holiday season is near. Uh, kind of take a look at our website for the holiday shows. We got a lot of wonderful things coming up. Always purchase your tickets online so we can accommodate you much, much easier. Always visit our website, thejazzkitchen.com. Uh, we got some great things in store for you. Also, it's required here uh, at the Jazz Kitchen is your audience participation. Uh, make sure we subdue our conversation to a minimum. We got a wonderful ensemble here with us this evening. Before we, uh, but, but before they get started, I'd like to introduce this gentleman, uh, the senior artistic advisor of the American Pianist Association. Let's give a great round of applause for Mr. Joel Harrison. Thank you, Frank. And thanks so much to Dave and everybody here at the Jazz Kitchen. Uh, this is a wonderful location. You know, we, I don't want to say we take it for granted, but what a resource for the city of Indianapolis and to be the home of our jazz competition. So thanks so much. I hope you all know how wonderful it is that this competition is hosted here in the city of Indianapolis, and it's you and your support that makes it happen. This is the biggest jazz competition in the world, offering a prize of nearly $200,000 to the winner. I did have uh, uh, some competitions ago uh, the judges said, is that really true? And I said, yes. And they said, are we too old? <laughs> I said, yes. <laughs> Speaking of the jury, uh, they get to come five times in a row. That is a special kind of support to find professional people who are willing to give up five weekends over the course of the concert season. Uh, Frank just mentioned Lynn Arial. Lynn's been uh, around quite a bit for us. Uh, she's been a judge in the past, and as he mentioned, she's playing right here tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Hope you'll come hear us. Lynn, can you stand up and wave at everybody? Uh, Dr. Scott Rautenberg uh, from Ball State, a little bit up north. Scott, thank you so much. Uh, Scott has been on our jury before, and uh, new to the jury, but not new to APA, is uh, Dr. Reggie Thomas, back here from Northern Illinois. Great to have you back in town, Reggie. It is always my pleasure to say a special thanks to our major sponsors. 
uh, the sponsor for the entire jazz competition, as it has been for the last three times, I think, is REI Real Estate Services. Mike Wells, former chair of the board, our friend right here. Thank you so much, Mike. And I believe one of our longest standing sponsors, the National Bank of Indianapolis, it's been a sponsor for this premier series, I believe, the entire time I've been at APA, which is about 22 years. Uh, so thanks so much to the National Bank of Indianapolis and to Jason, who's here representing the bank tonight. <laughs> one of the interesting parts of our competition and part of the community outreach for this organization is that each of our finalists, when they come into town for this week, uh, they do a three-day residency in a high school uh, where they work with the students, go to a variety of the classes, and ultimately end up playing with the jazz ensemble in a public concert. We pay for all of that. It is at no expense to the high school. Uh, our pianist tonight, Paul Cornish, has spent the last uh, first part of this week with uh, Warren Central High School and played a wonderful concert there Wednesday night. And I think there are people from Warren Central here. I didn't get a chance. Maybe they're coming at the later set. Anyway, it's a great, great opportunity for the city, for the high schools, and for us to be out in that kind of setting. We're also grateful to Eskenazi Help. Has a wonderful piano, thanks to the Miriam Tobias Music Program. All of our finalists, both classical and jazz, do a midday concert there free in the uh, concourse. Uh, Paul played there on Thursday. So a great opportunity. So I hope you see how integrated this competition is into the city of Indianapolis. How we are so proud to be here thanks to all that you're doing for all of us. Paul Carnish, Cornish, uh, I also want to say thanks and hello. Uh, Paul's mom is here. There you go, and his uncle. So. Uh, She's family support. You just can't do better than family support. She came to New York for our media event. She came here earlier this fall when we did something at the Madam Walker, and here you are again. I hope you're coming back in April for the Kayla finals. Good. Um, anyway, um, Paul is from the West Coast, grew up in Houston, now is in L.A. Uh, we love getting these people from the West Coast. It's been a pleasure to get to know him and to have him here all week long. Uh, so thanks so much to Paul for being here, to his host family, which is right here, Mark and Lynn. Thank you for all that you do to make that happen. And enough of me. Please welcome Paul and his sidemen to the stage.
Thank you.
Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, my name is Paul Cornish, as, as Joel said, and uh, I'm assuming you all probably read your programs by now. Uh, but uh, man, such a blessing to be here in Indianapolis with all of you playing music um, right here at the legendary Jazz Kitchen. Um, so. Thank you all for showing up on a Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> that first tune we played, it was entitled Feed the Fire by the late, great Jerry Allen, uh, incredible pianist composer um, that uh, recently I've been digging into some of her music and just have been completely blown away and inspired by. Um, and then the, the last tune we just played is entitled Shorty's Portion by Patrice Russian, um, which she wrote when she was 17 years old, which, right? I know, how do you think I feel? <laughs> uh, but uh, I was fortun fortun fortunate enough to study with her at uh, USC Jordan School of Music. Right on, we, okay, we got some Trojans in the building? All right, all the way out here in Indiana. Um, yeah, Patrice Russian is just incredible. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know her from, you know, her hit, uh, Forget Me Nots, um, it was also on Men in Black, but um, studying with her, she, you know, she did this record when she was 17 years old, and um, she also did records with Herbie Hancock, she was also the music director for the Grammys, she's also written symphonies, and just, a f you know, one of those rare kind of unicorn people that, um, you know, a lot of people don't even realize that she's just a giant walking among us, and, um, and uh, I thought it was significant that I, I had mentioned those two compositions and those two incredible women just because um, for me, I kind of made a commitment uh, about a couple years ago that uh, you know this music and these uh, incredible composers and musicians just aren't talked about uh, enough. Um, you know, specifically, I'm talking about uh, black women composers and musicians, people like Mary Lou Williams, you know, Mel Bellison and uh, Jerry Allen. And um, I think the onus is on us as uh, you know, jazz musicians that have a platform to, to bring this music uh, forward. Um, so. Uh, joke's on me, because the music's really hard. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll be hearing some more of their, their uh, pieces as well as from tunes by Mary Lou Williams. Uh, so I just feel fortu fortunate to be able to present that music and some others. Uh, so moving along, um, gonna you might you might know this next tune.
Anyone recognize the, the song? Okay. All right. That time time goes by. Not not quite. Do I, do I have another another take? So thank you. All right. Did I did I ruin anybody's favorite song? Do I <laughs> let me know. You know, I can I mean I have to play sixty minutes, otherwise I would leave fifty minutes. You know. Um that was my arrangement of, of Victor Young Stella by Starlight. Um and uh, please give it up for Nick Tucker on bass. Yeah. 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 Uh, the incomparable Kenny Phelps on drums. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna give them a little break. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play, play a solo number, if that's okay with y'all. It's all right? Okay. All right thank you. Um, 
This is uh, a tune by um, Thelonious Monk. Uh, is entitled We See. And uh, Monk, I feel like, is one of those musicians that, that kind of saved my life a little bit. Because uh, I remember I was first getting into jazz. I was around some peers that were already some very, you know, accomplished musicians and I feel like I could really find my identity in jazz music you know you know people were either listening to Oscar Peterson or, or Bill Evans and um, I didn't really you know identify with either one of them at the time and I remember I heard Thelonious Monk and I was like I feel like he gets me you know <laughs> just <the laughs> just something just about it was just like yeah this makes this makes way more sense to me um, and uh, just getting to read and uh, hear people talk about Monk, he was a very mysterious you know, person, as I'm sure you all know. But um, I think he kind of played with people uh, within that mis uh, you know, mystery, like because everyone thought, didn't really know what was going on. So I think he would kind of play jokes on people. And one of those being his kind of uh, technical piano ability, you know, People were, you know, notorious to say, uh, you know, Monk probably wouldn't have mon won the Monk competition, or, you know, he wasn't. <laughs> you know, that's that's a take. That's a take. But there's also reports of, um, you know, people saying that Monk could play just like Art Tatum, and then he would kind of wink at people and say, like, don't tell anybody, you know. And so I th I feel like he was kind of that type of person where it was just like, you know, that's cool and all, but I got my own thing over here. And, um, you know, not to belabor the point, but I heard this um, incredible lecture by Dr. Robin Kelly, who wrote the, the biography on Monk. Um, he, uh, he played a tape of Monk kind of like destructing a standard. Like, at the beginning of the tape, it didn't sound like Monk at all. It was just like, it just sounded like, you know, a regular person playing a standard. Um, and then by the end of the two hours, it sounds just like a Monk, um, you know, his sound. And so, I think he was very strategic and kind of intentional about um, what he allowed people to hear. And so um, all that kind of goes into what I think about when I play his compositions, kind of this introspective look, like what was he really thinking about? And so um, I've kind of retitled, uh, you know, my version of We See, I, I call it What We Don't See. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Got a couple more for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, this next tune is entitled Dinosaur Song. This is an original. Um, disclaimer, I'm a very, you know, sensitive. I'm a sensitive artist. Um, <laughs> I was very scared to put any any originals on uh, on this set list, but then you know Joel Harrison was like, "You gotta have an original." So uh, <laughs> this is this is one. I'm I know you know hear it first before you say that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I know y'all are like you know we're supportive community, which everyone I've met in Indianapolis is very nice. Thank you. Um, but you know, let's just see how it goes first. All right. <laughs> Um, this is entitled Dinosaur Song, and I'll, I'll explain why after. All right.
Thank you. Thank you. Dinosaur. <laughs> Dinosaur. Um, I, I appreciate the applause. Y'all are Y'all are generous clappers. Um, so, okay, I guess I should probably explain the name. Um, so, I wrote this a few years ago. At the time, I was seeing this, this young lady. Um, and uh, I just, it was just a comment she made uh, that she had a young nephew who was like really young and you know, he kind of had a crush on her. Uh, and he was like, you know, I wrote you this dinosaur song. That was like his profession of love to her. And then in my head, I was like, what, what does a dinosaur song sound like? Like, I'm, I'm just curious. And then uh, this tune just kind of came out. Um, so I don't know if this was what the dinosaurs were, were bopping to, but, uh, <laughs> you know, in my, in my head, you know, they were, they were jumping around in 9-8. Nine, nine so, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, we have we have one more for you, um, and uh, again, I'm so uh, grateful that you all decided to take the time on this uh, this fine Saturday night um, to uh, come see me, and uh, I will never forget this. So uh, I hope uh, at the end of the set I get to talk to some of you um, again. Indianapolis is I've been here the whole week, and y'all have been amazing. So uh, thank you. Thank you to APA for making this possible. Uh, thank you to Jazz Kitchen for letting me, uh, you know, play on the play play on stage. So uh, uh, this last tune will be a, gr uh, a tune by the great Cedar Walton entitled. Uh, Firm roots. <laughs> <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. I'm s I'm sorry. Thank you. This is Firm Roots.
Kenny Phelps on drums. Nick Tucker on bass. Um, got one more set. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> uh, I'm playing this uh, it's been a blast um, thank you all for coming again um, excited to play one more set it's gonna be completely different music um, and uh, thank you again APA thank you to Jazz Kitchen and uh, yeah my oh thank you thank you my mom is here my mom is here give it up for my mom <laughs> thank you absolutely I'm in I don't want to keep them playing as vamp because I could go all night about how important she is to me and and why she's here, uh, why I'm here because of her. But uh, you know. Anyways, my name is Paul Cornish, and thank you. Ah, you've been listening to Paul Cornish. Paul Cornish.